Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we will be continuing our tutorial in SDL and first to start off I want to go to our project file and edit this right here and we're going to first off by changing our back color to I'm pretty sure this is the uh, color I wanted, yep 255 255 and make that our back color and I want you to change your smiley face here color to red. And we're going to save our changes to test. And when we currently run our program, since it has the crop activated, what if we wanted to make it so this pink here didn't display? So that, like, when we ran our program, all we saw was the red smiley part of the face and not this pink background. We wanted to color key out that red background. Well, there's a simple way to do that here in SDL, and SDL makes it really nice. But first thing I want to do is get rid of our crop variable and come down here and put a null there. F7 to build it and we build it now we run it so we've got our full image showing now we just want to make it so all we see is the red smiley face and none of that nasty pink background so first what we're gonna do is come into our code and we need to declare a new variable so we'll come up here and do you went 32 color key equals SDL map RGB and what we're going to be doing with this function is we will be uh, mapping the color key that we will be mapping the colors we want to a variable that we'll use. So we're going to map the 255 0, 255, the current color that we want to disappear, to this variable. And then we'll be using that variable to color key it out in a separate function. So first what we'll do is image to, to format, if I remember correctly, and 255 0, 255. And then after that we'll do SDL set color key if I remember correctly to image image and then s d l s is it s r c c all it yeah and then our color key and then that right if I remember correctly build this program and now we run over to this and bam our pink background's gone we've successfully color keyed our image now this is really useful so like if you make if you have a large game and like you want backgrounds like you don't want any backgrounds you just want to look really slick color keys are the way to do that and um you want to want just for giggles right now see this SDL app right up here in the corner that's no good I don't like that we should change it to a SDL tutorial and that's really easy SDL makes that really easy on us as well so we'll get rid of this right here little um, compiler lock and come here to screen equals SDL set video mode and I think it's this is only for SDL on um on Windows you can, this function only works on Windows SDL WM set caption and then it'll be the title and we'll do SDL tutorial comma uh, nope and then it asks for an icon. See, the first parameter is uh, our char pointer, which uh, char title pointer, which is where you put the actual caption you want. And then the second one is the icon, but we're not in the icons yet, so we can't pass one there. So we'll just put null, and then we'll just use F7 to compile this again, and run over here to our SDL tutorial and run it. And see, look, SDL tutorial up in our corner. Now, as you can, so you know, our application's still pretty, you know, beginner esque, you know. But you know, as you can see, we're slowly building more and more things on it. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do next time. But uh, right now, I think this is a pretty good start. And I'll see you guys later.